Oklahoma. I'm Amanda Simcoe and this is Tasting Oklahoma. Once again, it is a beautiful Tuesday evening. I am in the lovely galley sink test kitchen inside Kitchen Ideas with one of my all time very favorite guests ever. This evening we have chef owner of Cosmo Cafe and Lafa Medi Eastern restaurant and bar, Miranda Kaiser. One of the coolest chicks I know and um, an amazing asset to the Tulsa culinary. Amazing ass. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I said asset. Everybody heard it. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. For someone so happy to be here, you always whine when you see me go, no, you're not going to make me do that again. Well, you know, I don't know if you've ever owned a restaurant and had 103 children. That's three that are actually through from my body and another 100 that uh, I look after. It's true. I actually just did it so you'd leave me alone for the rest of the summer. I just wanted to know if I had a summer to myself. How long have you been in Tulsa now? I think I've been here about 11 years because I just had to renew my green card, which was not as easy as you'd think, seeing as I have a husband who's American and I have three kids who are American, but we got it. They, they let For me For those stay. who haven't figured out, she's not so American. <laughs> I lived, uh, I was in England until I was 18, went to Israel for the next 15 years, and uh, now I'm here. And you opened Cosmo. Actually, you opened Cosmo, and then you moved Cosmo. Yeah. A great move. We, went, we were down south. Nothing wrong with down south, but it was uh, just better to be on Brookside, closer to the house. Originally, we wanted to open Lafa but we didn't think that it was the right time. It wasn't too long after 9-11, and Middle Eastern food wasn't number one All that popular to Americans. Um, so we waited, and uh, then we found out about this space. Actually, I had a dream. <laughs> and then I called up the real estate, and he said, I've got this space. And then I went to the space. I said, Phil, I need money. <laughs> and uh, 25 years we've been together. So he said yes. Uh, he actually told me the other day that he would rather kill me than divorce me. It would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> Far less painful and expensive. <laughs> so we opened Lafa and we decided that we wanted to do Medi Eastern, which I don't know if I've coined that phrase or not, but it's Mediterranean and Middle Eastern because they're all very similar thanks to all the uh, Ottomans and everything else, all the, the fighting going on in past. The flavors and the dishes are all very similar, but tweaked in each country. So that's why we decided Medi Eastern. Medi Eastern, okay. So, but you've taken traditional flavors and you've put the Miranda spin on them. Well, it's not just Miranda version. The fun thing about Israel, it's only been around <coughs> since 48, and you have people from all over the world. So when you have a falafel there, you wouldn't get it in Egypt, but we have beets. The reason we have beets is because we have a lot of people from Eastern Europe, Russia, and they like beets, so they put beets in the falafel. So the fun thing about Israel is, is exactly what I like to do. I twist the food. There's so much more that can be done. You can use cumin and Greek yogurt and pomegranate molasses and all that kind of stuff. But as we're going to show you tonight, we're doing barbecue. I figured that, I know, English person doing barbecue. <laughs> I'm already apologizing. You've but been you in Oklahoma <laughs> for a while. Right, but you can tweak it. Now, I'm not going to be good as, you know, Billy Ray's and all those people you know, but it's just to show you that next time you make some barbecue, maybe throw some cumin or some pomegranate molasses in there and see what happens. Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm getting hungry and the smells in this kitchen are absolutely driving me insane. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be back very shortly with Miranda Honey Badger Kaiser and we'll explore that moniker in a moment. Uh, but we're ready to eat. So we're gonna go, come back and uh, stick around with Tasting Oklahoma. What you want to do is um, put out and get brown cow. It's fabulous. It's full fat. Don't use any of that half fat crap. And as you'll you're find, you're gonna do it. Do it right. Yes, do it right. Sorry, and 